name is Joseph Codrington. Um, I'm originally from Barbados. I attended school at Eastern Michigan University directly from Barbados. Um, I was a track athlete, uh, a student athlete as it's known. We were looking at uh, trying to move from in a, an apartment and get into a home. And so we started looking around. So I found this house in Ipsy Township um, out the paper and I went to visit and uh, there was a young man there and he showed me the house. So we went around the house, we saw the kitchen and the bathrooms and rooms in the backyard. And She initially went out and uh, saw the house and the tenant that was there drew to her attention that the, the landlady or landlord didn't want to rent to a certain group of people. And he actually had a card from the Fair Housing Center. He'd already researched this and he gave her the card and said, if you really want this house, you can get it. Just call the Fair Housing Center. He said, well, I need to let you know that my landlord told me that she doesn't want to rent to blacks or students. And I'm like, what? So then Loretta came home and told me about it. Um, and initially at first I said, well, we don't want to rent a house where we're not needed. So we probably don't need to call the Fair Housing Center because we're not going to rent that house. She doesn't want us there. The Fair Housing Center contacted us about a couple weeks later and said, um, listen, we heard about the situation. We talked to the tenant. He let us know that you contacted him about the house. And we just want to let you know that, um, you know, what we're doing here in the Fair Housing Center, what she did was, was um, not right, okay? It's illegal to discriminate against people. So then we decided, yes, we will go back. And the lady explained to us, um, when I offered to, to put the money down for um, the rental, she said, well, I have some other uh, people who are gonna be looking at the house, so I'll let you know. We called back to the uh, tenants, and he said, um, I want you to hear what she said, because they continued talking while we left. And she says, the Codringtons are nice people, but I still want a white family. And it just made me feel even, you know, even more upset because the first time when I heard it, I was, I was appalled and I was beside myself and I just absolutely could not control my tears. You know, when I heard it the, the second time uh, on the tape, I knew that the right thing to do was to um, was to to take her to court or to let other people know that she felt like this. We informed Fair Housing, and then Fair Housing decided to send a tester out, um, someone similar to us, uh, you know, husband and wife, three kids. Um, the, the only difference were they were Caucasian and not African American, and so they went out and they saw the house, and she made them an offer. She didn't say, oh, I have some other clients that you know, want to see the house. She was like, oh, you guys are perfect for the house. So we eventually did. We, we um, filed a, a, a case, and uh, it didn't go to court. It settled out of court. And so, you know, it was great that we had a Fair Housing Center because, you know, they came alongside us, and they helped us a great deal in being able to understand this process. I hoped, I hope that in all these years, and from this, you know, uh, production that that's the Fair Housing is doing, that she sees that she missed out on a good opportunity to know some good people. Mm -hmm.